I cooked the wild rice because that needed to be um, chilled. Oh, there's a bowl. So this is again, um, like we used the last time, one pack, last week, one package of the wild rice and uh, long grain and wild rice. Plop that in there. Okay. And I did cook the chicken today. And I, I just went down and got a package of um, boneless chicken breasts. And I bake them, sometimes I boil them, poach them, if you will. Or sometimes I bake them. These I, I baked, no seasoning, just put them um, in a, on a foiled lined pan. I baked them at about 400, because they, were, um, they weren't frozen, but I baked them about 400 for about 20, 25 minutes, and uh, I got to cook chicken. So I just cut that up. So we've got our, our rice and our chicken. Okay, again with the, since I was chopping all day, I went ahead and I got the matchstick carrots. I'll put those in there. And um, our cup of celery, which I did dice up. And our green onion, which I will chop. Because you've never seen me chop green onion before. I thought I've got to do something. I can't have it all ready. Okay. And I like it fine so you don't have a big hunk of green onion in there. Okay, there's our green onion. And then our, we haven't done this before, is our, um, we're gonna use tarragon. And it comes, there's uh, several fresh herbs along the wall there in the produce department. And uh, these make, I don't know if I would go to use the dried and the salads like this, because you want fresh type things. And you just, you're just gonna use the leaves. I don't know if, if you know what tarragon smells like. You can come up here and smell it. It, to me, it had sort of a licorice -y scent. And I just like to strip the leaves because I think the stalks are kind of too hard to put in there. And, uh, and also, when you're doing this, it, um, you can smell the, the freshness. It's a little bit better than taking it out of a jar. So I think we need, what, two tablespoons? And then one fun thing to do when you have a recipe like this is to also try to find other recipes that kind of call for the same sort of odd ingredients so that you're not wasting, you know, this whole package. This whole package that, you know, what am I gonna do with this now? Although you could use this um, to season fish or chicken or put it in soups or whatever. Um, this has sort of a strong flavor so if, make sure you like it before you put it in your favorite soup that you know, all your kids love. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. I will show you. I don't usually, you know, on, on a whole carrot, I don't usually buy whole carrots because I don't like the, um, the whole carrot. So I always buy these baby ones. On a whole carrot, what I would, you know, you can kind of do the similar thing is to, you know, if you're thinking you first, you're gonna scrape it. And then if you would cut it like in pieces, like slices, I guess is what I mean. So you've got a slices, only you're gonna have to um, cut the carrot like in pieces. If you've got the big thick end and the little end, after you grate it, after you take the peeling off, you know, uh, grate it, then um, cut it into manageable pieces like this and like this, and then sliver it like this. And then either cut it in one piece or three pieces, 
and then you can get a nice dice on that. So, or you can use, it takes a lot longer to do the little pieces, but you, you want to make sure that too when you're dicing it that you don't put it down on the rounded end, that you do the, depending on what size dice you want. But to me, that's the easiest way to do it. This is all our stuff minus the raspberry vinaigrette. And I've got the raspberry vinaigrette that I did get, the World Classics. And this is a light, make sure the lid's on. <laughs> okay, and we're just gonna pour that on there. This is a little bit different take on chicken salad. I know everybody's got their favorite recipe of that. But that's a little bit different. Okay. And then we will put this in a little display dish. And depending on the season and the price of raspberries, which has gone up in the last week or so, you can either put the raspberries in the salad at the last minute, because you don't want them sitting around getting mushy, or you can just sort of garnish it with them. Okay. And there is our tarragon chicken and wild rice salad. <laughs>